All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekah Kodash, double honors to the elder apostles from the great millstone who taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth. Let's prophesy in this truth. Okay. So today's lesson we got from uh, routers.com. You can see um, it's right here. It says, uh, a death toll in U.S. strikes on pro-Iran targets in Syria arises to 19, War Monitor says. Okay. Now, you can see what's that. A guy named uh, General Woodman that says that U.S. Uh, joins Chief Chairman Army General uh, Mark Milley says with U.S. forces in Syria during an unannounced visit at a U.S. military base in northeast Syria. Okay, and this got March 4th, 2023. Okay, this is just the photo that's in, it, there was the photo taken in March uh, the 4th, right? Okay, so now we know America's in everybody's land. Okay, and really this goes back to uh, what initially had me to uh, do a video on this is uh, uh, I, not too long ago wrote, uh, well, not wrote, but did a video with America uh, spreading itself too thin. So I can shut up. About America spreading itself too thin, and America is. Uh, definitely uh spreading itself too thin because i think the last video i did was america with uh you know the fight with uh i think it was with china then i referred back to uh, uh russia now this is what i ran okay definitely america spreading itself too thin uh, i believe i looked the word up uh, uh the phrase uh spreading itself too thin and uh let's see uh, uh let's see okay let's see oh hey here, here, wait a minute there we go i believe you're spreading yourself too thin <laughs> and i look this is uh uh When it's feeling spread it too thin, uh, uh, I thought I had, maybe I didn't put, okay, wait a minute, I got, uh, oh, you hear this, spreading yourself too thin meaning, okay, it says, uh, to engage in so many activities that one cannot perform any of them well, okay, and that's America, it's, it, it, it she's, uh, uh, extending herself more than what she can actually bear and that's the uh and that's what you see here with with uh you know first it was uh you know uh, 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 america involving themselves in the uh russia ukraine war by funding uh ukraine uh i forgot how many billions it is but you know what? Matter of fact, let's let's see what America has. Uh, what's the uh, the total amount of uh, funding America has uh, given Ukraine? Okay. It says, how much money has the U.S. given Ukraine since Russia's invasion? Let's see. Uh, it says, one year in, the U.S. has allocated nearly uh, $115 billion in emergency funding to support Ukraine in wartime. Okay. And this is published uh, February 24, 2023. It's the hopeful year of all prophecy to come to pass. Okay, so, uh, we, wow, I 
that's where he did it. Said the United States had a, a appropriated approximately 115 billion in emergency funding in the support of Ukraine since February 24th, 2022. Um, the aid provides money for Ukraine, American partners, and regions uh, affected by the conflict. And the United States or U.S. National Security Program. So here's another way to think of it: the federal government spent one point, I was so lucky, six point four eight trillion last fiscal year, meaning the money spent on Ukraine today would be equivalent to approximately two percent of the U.S. budget. Ooh, goddamn! Okay, nearly four billion of that aid has already gone. Uh, Humanitarian uh, relief and uh, military security assistance. Uh, some aid fall under a lend, uh, uh, lease lend program. Joe Biden, Joe, President Joe Biden signed in May 2022. Many Ukraine will have to pay back a certain amount of U.S. Uh, after the war plus interest. <laughs> so they they asking for their money back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah man so uh, uh you know uh, wow Ooh -wee. proverbs 30 and 20 says such is the way of an adulterous woman she eat it and wipe it her mouth and said i have done no wickedness you know this is actual you know for the actual woman and america's known as the uh the mother of harlots man okay so she felt that she ain't done no wickedness on, on everything that she's done. Okay. Okay, let's go to, uh, let's see, Rebecca uh, Habakkuk, uh, chapter 2, man. It's a lucky. Uh, you know, America's in everybody's land, so it's only right to pull this scripture up. Okay, uh, Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 4 says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not a right in him, but the just shall live by faith. You know, that's America uh, as far as uh, she's being in everybody's country. You know, she still have that, uh, that mindset of, you know, we can do it. And they like they trying to police the whole world, and you know, and in these countries, man, they they sick and tired of America, man, being in their lands, man. They 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 they, they don't like it. Habakkuk chapter two and verse five it says, "Yea, also because he transgresses by wine, a lot, all you know, a whole bunch of lying. He's a proud man, neither keeper at home. Who in yeah, see, neither keeper at home." Now she's all in, um, you know, all in Iran, you know, or oh, Syria. Target in Syria rises up to nineteen. Uh, war monitor says, okay, and I've I kind of proofread a little bit of this, and uh, it's a couple of uh, uh bodies that they could they didn't know if it was americans or, or they well they just didn't know what nationality it was okay and uh hey man see everybody's in the business man with america man okay or uh, america's in everybody's business and uh, everybody else is in what America uh, policing America or uh, pretty much has the uh, camera or the spotlight on America and what they're doing. So it's just really just adding fuel to the fire. Okay, it says, Who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto, him, gather unto him all nations that heap it unto him all people. And that's what this guy, he, that he's, uh, it was a General Milley, got his hand on his shoulder. You know, I'm pretty sure this is, this is, uh, uh, Iranian with a United States, uh, you know, uh, 
fatigue, army fatigue on. Okay. It says U.S. Joint Chief Chair uh, Army General Mark Milley speaks with U.S. force in Syria during uh, in an unannounced visit at a U.S. military base in northeast Syria. So, you know, they made uh, these guys that that home over there uh united uh US uh 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 military made them part of the military both of these guys here okay he saw eat him up to his you know his his thing this is what he do he's in everybody's business okay you know, let alone can't even control his own business. Okay, let's, uh, I just really wanted to touch on this, uh, because this is the, uh, this is the third country. Uh, let's see, uh, uh, what is, how does the scripture go? Um, I think it's Matthew's, uh, oh, let's see. I think it's Matthew's 24. Or maybe not. Um, so the, this is uh, all of these scriptures here are, uh, or this scripture, particular scripture is uh, just uh, to let you know what we are as far as uh, prophecies are concerned, man. Because uh, see uh, that. You know, uh, these things have to come to pass. Uh, but how's the scripture? But the end is not here. The end is not not yet. Uh, you know what? I think I thought it was Matthew chapter 24. But I think we were going to. Uh, uh, yeah, there's rumors of war. It's 24 and 6. It's so like it for that. Um, let's see. Oh, this is Matthew 24 and uh, verse 6. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, seeing that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay, it says, For nation shall rise up against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there should be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Okay, it says, all these are the beginning of sorrow. Okay, and the beginning of sorrows uh, uh, is uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7. Which, you know, we always uh, tell our people that, you know, we are on the, on the verge of Jacob's trouble. Okay, Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7, it says, At last, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay, so this gospel is for those that who will shall be saved out of Jacob's trouble, which, uh, you know, comes down to be the elect. Okay, so the test is uh, almost here. And that, 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 you know, how you have a test and uh you know that final test the all the things that you covered over in school and you know but you have that final test that what the lord is is getting us ready for man for that final test that where well, we have to uh be tested and that test is uh revelation 13 and 16. okay that's that final test to see out of the multiple choice what we're gonna you know, select, you know, okay, you know, we, we pray that the spirit be on us to, uh, you know, uh, select none of the, none of the above as far as, uh, Revelation 13 and 16 is concerned. Okay. Okay. We're hoping to be that, that silver that's, you know, tried in the fire. Okay. To be purified during this uh, great test that the Lord is going to put us through. But, you know, 
this is I just really want to touch on, you know, this uh the situation hot right here with uh, you know, all nations are gonna be over gathered together. The Lord is gonna gather all nations together in the, the valley of Jehoshaphat, man. Okay. And and hey, whoever says that the scriptures ain't true, they ain't reading. Okay, it's okay, the Lord said, Blessed he that read it. So, um, you know, even if you ain't in there too much reading, okay, uh, the Lord had put the spirit on his servants to push videos out on YouTube and other platforms to, you know, to wake up the elect. You know, you pretty much, you know, you're going to know if you're the elect or not. Well, well, you, well, you, well, you really don't really know because none of us knows if we're part of the elect. That's why. You know, our elders and our apostles uh, coined this thing uh, that we're in uh, the hopeful elect. You know, we, we had that mindset of, you know, uh, uh, of this truth being, uh, you know, engraved in our hearts, man. Okay. And praying that, you know, we keep our hands to the plow and that our work of labor go unnoticed, won't go unnoticed. Okay, so with that being said, we're going to end it and give all praise and honor to you. How about Shimi Habashai, about Shem Rakakwadash, the honors to the elder apostles from the great millstone who taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth. And it's only one Lord that we serve, and that's the Lord Yahweh by Shimi Habashai. Okay, Shema Yasha Allah, Yahweh, Abba Habba Nawa, Yahweh, Akkad. Shalom to the whole full of